on, what's good, YouTube? It is your boy Trill Jimmy, Jimmy one one one, and I'm <coughs> back with another video. Sorry, y'all. Uh, I burped. I ain't even gonna cut that out, cause I tell y'all, I keep this shit real. I keep this shit real on my channel. You feel me? Um, I'm back with another video. If you're new, you know what to do. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and click that red subscribe button so you never miss an upload from your boy. Um, let's just let's just jump straight into the video. Um, so if y'all have been subscribed to me for a while. Y'all know I speak up a lot about mental health and like just being okay and just taking a breath and everything. I speak a lot on anxiety, overthinking, blah blah blah. Now, yesterday was a was a crazy ass day for me. Yesterday was a crazy ass day for me because I never I I don't I don't get anxiety. I I don't. I mean, if I do, whenever I do, I know how to control it. Even overthinking. I I rarely overthink. But when I do, I usually know how to control it just because I've I've been through a lot, you know, throughout my spiritual journey with um since I, my spiritual awakening happened um initially in 2019 and I've been through a lot of shit and I've researched a lot of shit. I've I've done I've just done so much to be where I am today. So, I've understood how to control certain emotions and feelings when they come to me. But Yesterday, well, not even yesterday. Let me not even say yesterday because over these past couple of weeks, matter of fact, there has been some sort of just a weird energy I feel in in the atmosphere. And I know it's not just me because I made a video about this initially. Initially, initially, I did this shit again. <laughs> I did this shit last video. Initially, initially is not a word. Initially, I made a video. Initially, initially. When um, I was feeling like this, and a lot of you guys were commenting, um, Jimmy, I feel the same way. I, my energy has been feeling down these past couple of weeks. Um, I've been battling some battles. So it's it's good to know that I'm not alone. It's good. It's, it's great to know that I'm not alone. You know, I'm never alone. I always got myself. But it just proves to show that there is some a big shift going on in this world. There's a big shift. There There has been a big shift going on. So yesterday, I was like, bro. My thoughts were all over the place, bro. It's like my thoughts just kept running and running and running and running. There's probably some negative just energy attached to me, some negative thought form I was dealing with. And I was feeling like anxiety attacks, bro. And, well, not not like anxiety, anxiety attacks, but I just I felt this energy on me. And I did I didn't know how to how to get this shit off. Like I just kept thinking negative thoughts. I kept getting anxiety and I just I literally felt some some something on me. You feel me? I, I felt it. And I was like, bro, I need to get this shit away from I need I, I I never get like this, bro. I never get like this. Like I'm always calm and collected. Like even though a lot of y'all think I don't go through shit just because I don't talk about it on YouTube and shit, I go through shit. I'm I'm a human being. I'm I'm in a human body, just like y'all. You go through shit. I know you go through shit. Y'all gotta hide it from me. We do. We family. We all one family. But I went. I, I I go through shit. You feel me? There's a, there, I always got shit going on in my personal life. You feel me? Just because I don't come on here and talk about it doesn't mean I don't have shit going on. And sometimes that shit it gets overwhelming. You feel me? Sometimes the shit gets overwhelming. And I know y'all can agree because. We all have shit going on. We all have shit going on. So yesterday, I literally like took a, a, a self care day. I took a self care day because I couldn't, bro. I couldn't handle it, bro. Like, like I said, it's been ongoing for like the past couple of weeks. You know, on and off. You know, I'd go meditate. I'd go outside. I'd go get some nature. You know, go to the gym, and I, I'd be okay. I'd be okay. But yesterday, it was like it was just something different, bro. So I had went to my um park. I went to my local park. And I just sat down. I turned my phone off. I've been using my phone a lot less now. You know, even being a content creator, it's hard to... It's, it's, it's what I do. It's what I do. You feel me? I have to come on social media to do what I do. You know, and I'm a musician. I'm an artist. I got to promote myself. But I was like, bro, I need a break from this shit. So I turned off my phone. Turned off my phone. And I took out my journals and my notebooks. I, I have a lot. I have like five or six <laughs> journals I, I use at the same time. I have a... Um, a manifestation journal, gratitude journal, um, a like a like a diary thought journal, um, a business journal, where I write business ideas and shit, and something else, something else. But those are my main ones. And I brought out all my journals and I just started journaling. Oh, music journal where I write songs and shit. 
So I brought out all my journals and I just, I just went crazy. <laughs> I went crazy. Um, I started off by wrote, writing some poetry, which is kind of like songwriting. I, I want to get into poetry. I do. I really do. But I, I wrote like a poem. I was like, yo, the fuck? Nigga, I never wrote a poem before <laughs> type shit. I was like, what the fuck did I just write? I had I never wrote a poem before. I was like, yo, shit kind of, this shit kind of, kind of raw. But I was like, it was basically, I wrote a poem about how I felt, like what was going on. And then after that, I went into my journal journal and I journaled like how I felt. I was like, bro, you're good. I was, I was journaling how I felt. And then after, it, it, I was kind of writing like, it was kind of my higher self writing to, to me, you feel me? Because our higher selves, our ego, our soul, our consciousness, it's all the same thing. It's all perspective, but it's all the same thing. So I kind of, I was kind of writing a letter to myself, telling myself that, bro, Jimmy, you're okay. Like everything is okay. You are okay. You will be straight. Everything is okay. Everything will happen in due timing. There's nothing to worry about. And I literally wrote a letter to myself and read it back to myself. And I was like, bro, damn, that shit hit. That shit hit. You feel me? That shit hit. And I just relaxed. And I was like, bro, chill out, chill out, chill out. And then another thing I did, let me, let me whip this out real quick. Just so y'all know, this is not a sponsor. This is not sponsored, but um, I've had this book for a while, Becoming Supernatural by Joe Dispenza. And I was, I've had it for like so long, but I don't, I've never been a reader. I've never been a reader. Um, after my spiritual awakening, I started reading a little more and then I took a break, but I started reading again just now. And I was reading one of the chapters, I think it was chapter two. And he was explaining how your, the, your thoughts and I've, talk, I've talked a, a lot. I've talked a lot about thoughts and the way you think and thought patterns in the subconscious and conscious mind a lot on this channel. But after reading this specific chapter, it gave me a much deeper understanding of what your thoughts actually fucking do, bro. So the way you think and the way you feel are, 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 are much different, are much different, bro, are much different. Now, whenever you feel a certain way, you have to understand that it's not you. Like the fact that the fact that I was feeling a certain way and I knew I didn't want to feel that way. And I was telling myself, why am I feeling this way when I literally don't want to feel this way? It's how I know that that is not me. Whenever you think negative thoughts, when you think and you overthink about shit, that you don't want to think about, when you feel shit that you don't want to feel, you need to understand that that is not you. It's not you. It's not you. It is not whatsoever. So my advice to you, because I want to make another real in-depth, in-depth video about this, just my advice to you, remember that you are in control and your thoughts are much more powerful than you think. And you need to understand that you have the power to control how you think and once you have the power to control how you think you have to you have the power to control how you feel you understand what i'm saying now a lot of i i, I caught myself stuck in a cycle you feel me i caught myself stuck in a cycle in a cycle i can't die young go listen to my song die young it's literally about what the fuck i'm going through right now <laughs> what the fuck a lot of people are going through right now you know feeling stuck in a cycle um but the reason why so many people are stuck in these negative thought forms is because they are doing the same shit every day and when you wake up in the morning and you like whatever your routine is because i'm sure a lot of y'all do the same routine every every day when you do the same routine every day you are living in the past you are living in the past because when you wake up you woke you woke up today what did you do today Maybe woke up, brushed your teeth, hopped on the phone, this and that. Probably the same shit you did yesterday. Now, I understand that the reason why you may feel stuck, you know, in these in this thought cycle, you know, you, you feel like shit is not changing for you. You know, you've been working so hard towards, towards specific goals and, and dreams, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's not working out. You need to understand that what you, what you do 
your routine, when you do the same routine every day, you are living in the past because you already have an idea of how the future is going to go, if that makes sense. Now, you have a job. You hate, you, let me not say hate, you don't like your boss because, you know, this you and your boss have never gotten along and today, this morning, you woke up and you're like, oh, fuck, I don't want to go to work today. I don't want to see my boss because you are living in the past because you have been through, you've been in this cycle for so long, right? You have been working the same job with the same boss, with the same this, with the same that. And this is just a scenario. This goes with anything. You feel me? So you, your body already has a, a, has a, a chemical, like a chemical attached to this experience. So whenever you think about your boss, right? Because maybe you and your boss don't get along. Now, when you think about your boss, those feelings that you feel about your boss are going to manifest even if you are not at work right now, even if you're not at work right now, right? When you think about your boss just because of the, the attachment of emotions you have to this thought pattern, just because of this attachment to this thought pattern, you think about this boss and you, your body just feels that way because of, of that feeling it's used to. And one thing I learned from reading that chapter is our bodies are, are addicted. Our bodies are addicted to our routine, whether it's positive or negative. Our body craves it, which is why we feel a certain way even if we don't want to. That's why, because our body, not our mind, not our soul, our body craves these this feeling these chemicals because it's it's what we're used to doing every fucking day every day so if we want to change it bro we have to think larger than how we feel escape whatever is keeping you trapped cut it out of your life change think greater than how you feel when you feel a certain way don't dwell in the feeling tell yourself no i am stronger than how i feel i am stronger than how i feel i am I'm stronger than how I feel. Take control of your thoughts. Um, meditate. Meditation is so powerful. Meditation will help you so much. Meditation will help you so much. A fuck ton. So much. So much. Take it step by step. I'll be releasing meditation soon. Matter of fact, I'll be releasing um, mantras and meditations too. I've been um, putting meditation frequencies in my music. A lot more now. Um, not in a lot of the stuff I've released. I've been wor- like I've been working on a lot of music, and I'm just trying to be patient and take my time with it. But y'all go listen to my song "Trust in the Divine." That song is actually in 432 hertz, and it's about um, I don't even want to tell you what it's about. You you heard the song title, but it's it's down below. But yeah, you are in control always. You are stronger than any feeling, any thought. You, you are, you are. Take control. You feel me? Um, if y'all want some more videos like this of me just sitting, talking, let me know. Um, spam the like button. If you stay to the end and you're here, spam that like button and comment a 111 below. Comment a 111 below. I love you guys so much. Make sure you follow all social media platforms below, mainly Instagram because that's what I'm most active on. Also, if you want to talk to me one-on-one, you want to talk one-on-one, you, me, because there's only so much like wisdom I could put in the video. I know a lot of you guys have personal personal things going on. So if you feel like I can help you with that, go ahead and book a one-on-one consultation with your boy Trill Jimmy down below. I love you guys so much and we gone, baby. Open up the doors to the brand new coupe. Money stand tall from the floor to the roof. Talking out on me like, who are you? We not the same, you don't do what I do. Looking at my stacks, no green, all blue. Just to get here, a lot of pain I've been through. Got me hella changed, not one, not two. Everything I say, I'll make come true. I feel like I won the lottery, that's how I feel when I'm just with you